What's up guys, Dr. Greg here back with another episode of Braces Explain. I hope you guys are all having a great week and are ready for another episode. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome and please hit the subscribe button down here so you can stay up to date with all things braces, Invisalign, all things orthodontics. Um, I try to come out with weekly or bi-weekly videos for you guys so you can keep you up to date. So, today's episode is something that has been brought to my attention from a number of you guys which you guys are curious about after seeing the Nance video and that is what is a TPA or a transpalatal arch? Let's go. So a transpalatal arch or a TPA is an orthodontic appliance that's cemented on your upper arch which is used to control or modify the width of your upper jaw. It's not necessarily an expander but it's used to do some control in the upper jaw and has a bar that runs from one side across your palate to the other side. Let's take a little bit closer look and I'll explain the details of a TPA. So a TPA consists of bands that go on your molar teeth with a wire that goes across your palate. You can see here that there are this little U-shaped bend that goes in the palate and that either points forward or backwards. And that allows for modifications that occur in the TPA before we cement it in. The TPA is either soldered onto the molar bands or has little slits to attach it so that it's removable and adjustable. If you guys don't remember what bands are, go ahead and check out the video here that compares what bands are versus brackets. TPAs are really good at controlling the width of your upper jaw. They're not necessarily expanders, but a lot of the times after an expander, an orthodontist might use a transpalatal arch to hold the width of your upper jaw. After expansion, until your body gets used to this new wider upper jaw, your teeth want to go back to their original shape. So this transpatal arch basically holds your teeth and your bones where they are now so that the bone can fill in and it will be more stable. A lot of the times a TPA can be used with a Nance like I showed in a previous video and that makes the anchorage control a lot more efficient. So when a TPA is used with the Nance, the Nance button makes it so that your back teeth don't shift forward and the TPA makes it so that your upper teeth don't go either out or in. It really controls the width of your back teeth. TPAs can be used for a number of different things like correction of rotations, but this is a lot more advanced stuff that your orthodontist will be familiar with, but you really won't see. This appliance generally should be laying close to your upper gums, but they shouldn't be pressing on them and irritating. If you notice that there's food getting stuck, please use something like a water pick, which I'll review in an upcoming video, because what you don't want are your gums to become inflamed and pushing against this TPA, and then it becomes more and more inflamed and actually becomes painful. Generally, the TPA is a pretty comfortable appliance that you get used to relatively easily. It's just the first few days you might notice that there's something there that your tongue keeps playing with. So that's what a TPA pretty much is. If you guys have had a TPA, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions about the TPA or any other orthodontic appliances, Feel free to drop them in the comment section and I will get to them as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time on Braces Explained. For now, Dr. Greg, out.